to reiterate depression is when you are sad and low even though good things are happening around you hello everyone welcome to my channel so today i want to talk to you about how i handle the first signs of depression i think the very very first time that i felt this depression was when i was married and the children were small and I noticed it wasn't to do with anything in particular because that's where I feel oh, oh what's going on because normally if you feel depressed it's because something has happened or you feel that something or you got some bad news which naturally you get depressed about and sad about and I actually remember going to the doctors prescription pad came out I can give you X Y and Z I said I don't want anything for it I just want to tell me what to do I don't, I don't want to start taking pills at this age in Pretty much that was the end of that <laughs> visit to the doctors and I thought no I don't need it so I came away. So it wasn't too often, it's just once in a blue moon. But then I've noticed recently, I mean to be fair, to be fair, I have a lot to be depressed about. I only have to look in the mirror or look at my skin but I'm not taking it that way. And it's happened a number of times I'd say I'm not even gonna say it happens X amount of times it just once in a while it happens and the first thing I do is well, I'm looking for a reason why am I and it just sort of comes over me and I think what's what's wrong is it this no is it that no is it the other no so why am I feeling this way and that's when I think that's not a good sign and I spoke to one or two people because I had no idea what was going on and they said you know that's how depression starts when there isn't a particular reason for for your depression particularly in fact when things are go going quite well around you and then you're depressed that is the first sign of depression so for me I'm a very positive person I meditate and I have ways of coping with of getting rid of it and the thing is it all comes down to knowing yourself knowing what makes you tick what makes you happy what makes you feel good and what makes you sad as well you need to know when it comes up because sometimes some people don't know themselves enough to know or oh, this is depression or whatever but i'm so in tuned with myself with my body with with my soul with with everything basically i think oh and the first minute is like i'm telling you literally it just i could be sitting there watching something on the laptop or reading and then suddenly this thing just it's like a blanket Whoosh, and instantly i think what's going on i'm thinking what's going on number one why am i feeling this way so again i go through the list and i can't think of anything and i think oh my goodness number two how can i get rid of it so there are a number of things that I do. I click on and watch stand-up comics and <laughs> that works almost immediately. I start laughing and we're good. If it's closer to bedtime and, and I'm thinking, yeah, I don't feel like doing this and I don't feel like doing that and I'm not interested in that. What can I do? This feeling, it's horrible. I don't like it. Then I go to bed. Because once you go to bed, you're not thinking anymore. Boom. In the morning, I'm good to go. I'm normal again daytime or in the morning then obviously you can't just go to bed but like I said you know watch something interesting something that'll make you lift your spirits put on some music dance but to be fair with you if you're feeling depressed you you don't feel like getting up and dancing unless you have to force yourself to click on listen to the music something uplifting obviously but I find comedy works for me so I might watch a film that I know is going to make me laugh or watch you know my, my favorite comedians like um, Michael McIntyre he makes me laugh he's so funny so that even if it's something they've watched already doesn't matter it's even better because I know what to expect I watch it and I'm telling you I'm telling you within minutes I'm good to go depending on what it is I decide to do or sometimes I just listen to meditation or try and meditate but actually that doesn't work for me so much it's gonna be something that's gonna lift it's a mood it, being depressed is a, it's a heavy mood it comes down like so so I'm trying to uplift this mood and lift it off completely so it's gonna be something that's gonna happen pretty quickly so I listen to uplift the music 
and something that will make me laugh. Something that will make me laugh is normally what I go for because at the end of the day I enjoy laughing and laughter, they say, is good for the soul. It reiterates depression is when you are sad and low even though good things are happening around you and there's nothing in particular that's caused it it's just something that just happens so you need to be able to deal with it and you know nip it in the bud okay so that's pretty much it short and sweet that's the way i like to go i'll see you in my next vlog take care and goodbye